so when I say, you know, oftentimes African Americans are, it's not that they're not committing crimes, it's that their crimes are often overrepresented in the media. This is what I mean. Very rarely do we get an opportunity to see a mugshot. Very, op- very seldom do we get an opportunity to see a perp walk. Th- they're also they're generally very vague about the crime, very vague about who committed it, very vague about all the details. But whenever they really want to talk, whenever they want to talk about black people, they somehow, some way, find all the details. They find the video. They got the background. They got all the information, and they make sure it's nice and big, and they plaster it all over the front of the screen with the mug shots and the oranges and everything. But very rarely do we get a chance to see Mr. Rogers sitting on the ground in cuffs or or Opie in cuffs, right? Because white people don't commit crimes. Now, like I said, I'm not saying that black people don't commit crimes. What I'm simply saying is that black people are overrepresented in the media for criminality and that needs to change. Meaning that it's fine, report the crimes, but report the crimes evenly amongst all of the people that are committing the crimes. And to all my legislators out there, meaning all my African-American legislators, starting at the Congressional Black Caucus, I'm speaking directly to you. This is happening on your watch. What's up, guys? Welcome to Simple Shit TV. I'm your host, Alvin Holden, also known as Project 8020. And today we are going to talk about catalytic converters. And you're probably asking me, Alvin, what the hell is a catalytic converter? Well, we're going to go over that, but I want to get the, the nuts and bolts down first, okay? Just so that everybody is aware. Basically, a catalytic converter is a device incorporated in the exhaust system of a motor vehicle containing a catalyst for converting pollutant gases into less harmful ones. Basically, in every state in the United States is all slightly different as far as uh, as far as your motor vehicle is concerned. But uh, in the state of California, especially in the state of California, getting your car, your car smogged is extremely important. You can't even drive the car unless it's smog legal. Uh, If it's an older vehicle, there are certain rules that apply. Newer vehicles all have catalytic converters. Now, why is that important? Because there has been a massive, there has been a massive theft ring that has plagued the United States for the past few years. And uh, it has come to a fever pitch to the point to where everyday normal, regular people that have had vehicles have had some sort of an encounter with dealing with having their catalytic converter stolen. And it is a as, as simple as this piece of equipment is. It's really expensive, pain in the ass to replace. It's super inconvenient. And um, and we're as we're about to listen, it's a multi, multi uh, million dollar, billion dollar business. Let's uh let's just watch this news real quick. MSNBC uh, fair use. Tonight, the nationwide crackdown on this growing epidemic of car part thefts in what officials are calling a half a billion dollar criminal enterprise. They're blatant. They'll just wall in here. They'll look at the camera. They'll have a mask on and walk right by. They don't really seem to care. They can roll underneath one, 30 seconds, roll back out and leave. This surveillance video showing thieves stealing nine catalytic converters from school buses in New Jersey. At this RV storage facility near Dallas, they moved with breathtaking efficiency. I guess they look at it as a shopping mall of catalytic converters. The converters are embedded in the exhaust systems of most cars and trucks, making auto emissions less harmful. They contain precious metals, including rhodium, palladium, and platinum, whose value has skyrocketed in recent years. Listen Some of the metals are $26,000 an ounce. Um, so. $26,000 an ounce. If I'm not mistaken, that is palladium. Recent years. Some of the metals are $26,000 an ounce. Um, so you can see why, you know, um, it's very expensive 
uh, repair to make, number one, but number two, why it's such a common crime. Federal authorities raiding this auto parts shop in New Jersey, arresting 21 people in all across eight states. The defendants charged today are accused of buying the stolen converters, where they go for $1,000 on the black market. One of the accused, Naveen Khanna, posted a photo of a catalytic converter necklace with a winking face emoji. It, uh, he looks Indian, if I'm not mistaken, no? On social just, media. Just checking. Authorities raided his $1.7 million New Jersey home. He could not be reached for comment today. In Oklahoma, multiple law enforcement agencies raided a Tulsa facility where they found them stacked in piles. The National Insurance Crime Bureau says 12 times as many catalytic converters hmm. were stolen in 2021 compared to 2019. The crime wave turning tragic last April. Houston Deputy Sheriff Darren Almendarez was shot and killed when he tried to stop thieves from stealing his converter. You know, we're mm. tired of this crime in our community. We're tired that people aren't even Tired of this crime. Now, Alvin, where are you covering this? Well, I was on a panel recently, Dinus Amir. Um, shout out to him. Brother's doing great work. And I mentioned that at, even though African Americans do commit crimes, I mentioned to him that we are often overrepresented in the media for criminality. And he gave me some pushback. In fact, a lot of people on his panel gave me some pushback. And even though I provided uh, statistical data, FBI data to prove my point. But this story is an example of what I was talking about. So up until this point, we've watched about two minutes of this video. This is a multi-million dollar uh, situation countrywide, everywhere from New York to Texas to Los Angeles. And the only person that they've shown a photo of is one Indian guy, right? But all this millions and millions of dollars of theft. Let's continue watching. Safe to go out to the grocery store. This is a cop. This is a cop that's just out with his family. It could be any one of us. The defendants in today's arrest are charged with various offenses. By the way, 21 people just in this one particular situation were arrested, but. Including transporting stolen property and money laundering. They faced decades in prison. FBI Director Christopher Ray said in a statement tonight that these defendants stole hundreds of millions of dollars from thousands of innocent say it cars. again hold on hold on hold on stole hundreds of millions of dollars hold on say it again that said in a statement tonight that these defendants stole hundreds of millions of dollars from mm. thousands of innocent car owners meanwhile if you're wondering how to tell whether your catalytic converter has been removed you won't see it but you will hear it as soon as you start the vehicle the engine should emit a loud roar almost as if there was a hole in the muffler mm. now you know, I was lucky enough to be paying attention and I went to look in and what I did find is I found another story where obviously they did actually, and I believe it's the same story, but uh, they had some different footage. And I want to give you an example as to what I meant when I said what I said. And federal investigators say there's a local connection Let's to the crime. CBS 13's Adrian. A, a, a nationwide theft ring busted tonight. 21. Oh. Let's look. Let's look at what we see here. This lady right here. Let's see. Can you see my? Can you see this? Oh, my little deal here. This little lady right here. You see her? And you see this guy here? And you see this guy here? And you see this guy here? Oh. And this guy here and this guy here so we've got hundreds of millions of dollars stolen right but see we don't ever see these faces we don't ever get to see these these people perp walked we never get to see their their mug shots splashed all over the news very rarely do we ever get a chance to see this right we never get a chance to see these people arrested let's let's continue fair use People are cuffed, accused of stealing catalytic converters as part of a multi-million dollar. Let's go ahead. This guy, right? 
you don't really see guys that look like him, you know, cuffed and sitting on the ground. You don't really see that very Our often, operation. do we? And federal investigators say there's a local connection to the crime. CBS 13's Adrian Morris here to explain. Adrian? Yeah, Tony and Elizabeth, three of the people arrested today are from Sacramento, and we now know a home in Rio Linda was raided in connection to the sting. Authorities believe this group ran an unlicensed business out of their home where they bought the stolen car parts and then sold them to a metal refinery over on the East Coast for a whopping $38 million. Oh, now take a look at this video out of Oklahoma dollars. earlier today where authorities took there down... Go. Hold on, let's look, let's look for a second. Look, look. Look who we see here. We have. Look. We don't see their mug shots, do we? We don't ever see their mug shots. We don't ever see these people, but these are the ones stealing the hundreds of millions of dollars right here. These ones, these people right here are the ones stealing hundreds of millions of dollars, but black people are the ones committing all the goddamn crimes, huh? Okay. Part of what they call a network of thieves, dealers, and processors in this scheme. Look, thieves, thieves, hundreds of millions of dollars, thieves. A federal grand jury indictment says Sacramento's Tu Su Vang, Andrew Vang and Monica Moa shipped the stolen catalytic converters to DG Auto Parts in New Jersey. Now, business owners were left stunned as they watched law enforcement move in. I see uh, huge trucks, guys with you know, assault rifles or, you know, guns drawn and shields and um, apprehending some guys. And so after that, it's just uh, it's been nonstop police presence. Federal investigators say the owners of DG Auto sold the metal powders pulled from the catalytic converters for more than five hundred forty five million dollars. Whoa, 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 say that again. Hold on. How much? Say the owners of DG Auto sold the metal powders pulled from the catalytic converters for more than five hundred forty five million dollars. Five hundred forty five million forty five million dollars. Huh. Sacramento police posted a tweet this afternoon saying their officers were part of this takedown as well, helping federal and state agencies with a series of search. So when I say, you know, oftentimes African-Americans are, it's not that they're not committing crimes, it's that their crimes are often overrepresented in the media. This is what I mean. Very rarely do we get an opportunity to see a mugshot. Very, very seldom do we get an opportunity to see a perp walk. They're also they're generally very vague about the crime, very vague about who committed it, very vague about all the details. But whenever they really want to talk, whenever they want to talk about black people, they somehow some way find all the details. They find the video. They've got the background. They've got all the information and they make sure it's nice and big and they plaster it all over the front of the screen with the mug shots and the oranges and everything. But very rarely do we get a chance to see Mr. Rogers sitting on the ground in cuffs or or opie in cuffs right because white people don't commit crimes now like i said i'm not saying that black people don't commit crimes what i'm simply saying is that black people are overrepresented in the media for criminality and that needs to change meaning that it's fine report the crimes but re report the crimes evenly amongst all of the people that are committing the crimes and to all my legislators out there, meaning all my African-American legislators, starting at the Congressional Black Caucus, I'm speaking directly to you. This is happening on your watch. So if you were to really try to do something for black people, if you wanted to change the image of black people, if you wanted to help black people get better and get ahead in, in, in this country, in this community, we would start here because this is something that we can change. And I'm gonna do this in another video, but Hispanics, were known for criminality in the early 2000s or in the early 2000s and 90s just as much as black people were fast forward 10 years later somehow some way they drop off the list and it's criminality's 80 percent black people even though we're only 13 12 percent of the population anyways i'm gonna go ahead and leave this here i think this is very interesting um they're finally busting these catalytic converter uh theft rings down and it's it's refreshing to me and I'm sorry about whoever, whoever the else is guilty of it but it's refreshing to see that something like this doesn't have the face of a bunch of black people 
And with that, I'll leave you. Ladies and gentlemen, Erica Badu said it best. I'm an artist. I'm sensitive about my shit. And I'll holler at you guys on the next one. Peace. Really, y'all don't know.